<sighs> Greetings! It's Evelina Mole, Lady of the Round. And it is September huh, the 9th of 2013. Okay. And today I wish to talk about relationships and couples. And you know, one of my biggest pet peeves of seeing couples and relationships and it's not because, oh, I'm a prude and I'm grossed out, is, or even see a man, you know, loving his woman and, you know, being kind to her and stuff like that. No, I just have an issue with, oh yeah, this is tea time, I forgot to play it. But seeing her take advantage of him bugs me. Because men out there, Know when a woman is taking you for a ride, okay? It's just as important for you to know as it would be for a woman to know. Now, yes, I'm aware of the abuse rate. I'm well aware of it, ladies. But, gentlemen, you need to watch out. <laughs> because, yes, it's not good. On either side of the... Of line to get abused. However, I don't like, I personally don't like seeing it because I feel like if I loved and cared for a person, it wouldn't matter how much money I had, he had. I'm dating him for him. I married him for him. So whenever I see a woman doing those things, it just makes me feel like a brutal little bonus movement back 50 years. I swear women did that, honestly, to get money out of their husbands, and it just makes you feel dirty. And not in a good way, just like Jane would say. Okay. At the same time, men, why do you take advantage of your women, you know? I know, but in reality, I, I know for you guys it's fun, and da da da, you know, you get you get to have that woman for five seconds. The problem is, yeah, you get to have them for five seconds, and then, like that, you end up with a baby. Also, I want to bring up couples and relationships anyways. I have never liked it when couples go on a rampage together. We don't need any more Bonnie's and Clyde's, okay? They were annoying to begin with. Okay, we are tired of the whole Bonnie and Clyde thinking structure, okay? It's stupid, alright? It was stupid when I was a kid, it's stupid now, and it's going to continue to be stupid. Mostly because it even says in the Bible, and I don't mean to Bible some of you guys, because I'm going to start doing, well, I will have done some, well, I won't tell you more. Okay. By the time I guess this video is made, I would probably done a Bible thumpers thing. And part of the reason why I want to do those is here. Couples are not supposed to make a big brouhaha out of their relationships. That's what they say in the Bible. And I think that's just how it should be. Mostly because... I love seeing two people together and being happy, but when they're ruining my good time, I don't care whether they're going to throw that whole horseshit in my face about, uh, oh, well, Gabby, you're just not in love, or you're not in a relationship. I don't care. You ruined my picnic. You're ruining my peace and quiet. Knock it off. Okay? Because, you know, that's actually kind of why I like to watch horror films, but they do ruin the wedding. And I do think it requires, like what TJ the Amazing Atheist said for that uh, particular review, that there has to be a reason to why he ruined the wedding. He can't, you know, you can't just have someone coming in and ruining an entire wedding just for the sake of ruining an entire wedding, okay? It just ain't cool, man. 
you know, there has to be something wrong with the bride, you know, spoiled the bride and pain in the ass. Or, or, you know, you get, you go to these weddings where people are just all like, oh, well, you're ruining this wedding, and da 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 da. It's like, uh, first of all, I'm doing the best that I possibly can at these things. I'm nervous, I'm sure the bride is nervous, and I'm sure everyone else is nervous. Oh, there's that too. I don't hate weddings, but what is it with our world and weddings nowadays? I'm sorry, but marriage to me is not the best thing in the world. Okay, maybe if you're someone who wants to be attached to someone else, go for it, but not me. I mean, if you want to be married, go for it. It's not. It, there's nothing wrong with someone getting married, okay? I have nothing against marriage for someone who wishes that event. However, why must they push it on us? I mean, I don't get why marriage is so important to why it should be important to everyone. Frankly, if you're happy not being at a wedding, being married, go for it. I rather, I think it's better for people to live a happy, fulfilled life and, you know, hop from one lily pad to another until he finds the perfect mate, even if it's just a one night stand, and each time, with the harm in it. I mean, I understand heartbreak, but if you're mature adults, you should be able to make the decision of, well, you know, or at least be able to extract your emotions from that, oh, well, we're in love, and we had sex. I'm sure there's even teenagers out there who are like, uh, all you did was just, uh, bump bug leaves, and that's it. They are aware of the fact that, um, marriage is great, but sex does not, you know, sex, sex is wonderful in multiple ways, I'm sure. I'm still a virgin. I love it. I would like to, but hey, not now. Especially not during this video. Anyways, um, that bumping uglies does not secure a mate. It might have a long time ago, but I guess since we had these inventions of, you know, called uh, condoms, I think most men are kind of like, eh, kind of saying like, what's the big deal? He didn't take my mate. My mate gave it to him. That's it. Anyways, this is Evelina Malik, Lady of the Realm, asking you to say how you feel about these relationships that go too far. You know, have you seen a relationship that goes too far? Have you seen stuff about how you had to deal with like obnoxious couples that think their wedding is just so important please put it down in the comments down below I will get back to them and answer questions if I need if you want me to so, and to this this is Evelyn O'Malley signing out